So here we are with Sean Demain, uh, and he's the writer of the film. Um, Sean, tell me a bit about how the idea for the film came about. Uh, well, I've been screenwriting for about uh, 10 years now, and um, I wanted to produce one myself. So what I did was I had a script I was working on, but I, it was too big. So I decided to take one scene from that, that script, and I turned that one scene into a movie. That way I can have a low-budget film, and I can... Uh, I can produce it on my own. I was going to say that, it is, um, because it is only a two-hander yeah. film, that must have been part of the reason to, because it does make it much easier to make an independent film. Absolutely. What, what the goal was to have the least amount of characters and the least amount of location so we can afford to do it on our own. So that's what I did. I took that one scene with that involved two characters and I did it in one location and just built a world around it. Wow. And it's a, it's a it's only got two people in it, but it's set on one night, is yeah. that correct? Yes, it's, it's two people, two strangers that meet in one location on the night of the, the best meteor shower. So they, they meet and they explore this old Civil War era fort. Right, and uh, with, the, with the film, with the pro uh, whole process, um, is, is romance a genre that you had always been interested in? Yes, I actually I dibble with all kinds of genres, but for some reason it seems like that uh, dramatic romance is that's the one that I excel in. Oh, right. And um, is there any influences that you would say that have that you've had with the film? Plenty of influences with the film, but um, Before Sunrise was a major influence in the film, and also I love uh, Cameron Crowe, great writer, and he's also a major influence in uh, in the writing part of it. And I noticed that you're a producer also on the film. How did you and Stephen come to make the film together? Uh, basically what I did, I'm new to the whole producing world, so I connected with a local production company in New Orleans, and the co-producer I brought on for this film had worked with Stephen in a prior project. So she said, hey, I know this guy, he directed, he's really good, so why don't you contact him? So we contacted him, we had a few conversations, I flew out to Los Angeles, talked to him, and I felt he was right for the part, so that's where we started. So a lot of independent filmmakers may want to know, when you contacted that production company, was that a cold call or did you have a previous connection? It was a cold call. I was actually at Google and I ended up finding this production company in New Orleans and I sent them an email and they saw the script and they said, hey, we, we want to help you out. Wow, that's incredible. Now, and as this is your first feature film that you've written, what was it like seeing the characters bring, the, the actors bring the characters to life? The, the whole thing was surreal to me. Uh, to actually see those actors, those characters that I've been had in my head all that time actually come to life in front of me, it's surreal. It's, it's an awesome moment. It's, it's quite an accomplishment for myself. I'm very proud of everything that took place. Were you on set for the whole eight days? Did you have a lot of creative? Absolutely. I was there from start to finish. I was sleeping maybe two hours a day so I can be there and, miss, and so I can experience every part of this process. Did you find that the script changed much when it came into motion? Basically what we did, yes. yes. We had the original script and because it was two people, there was a lot of dialogue. So what we did, we took the best parts of the script and kind of condensed it down and kind of shuffled it up a little bit, but it's still true to the story that I originally wrote. And what's it like having your film screened in Hollywood in a true venue that supports independent cinema? Uh, one, one sentence. It's a dream come true. Fabulous. Well, I'm really looking forward to seeing the film. Is there anything that you hope that audiences take away from your story? The big thing for the story is I wanted to do something that was realistic, something people can relate to. It's not a, a story where everybody falls in love in 10 minutes. They go through the journey of the possibility there might be love there. Uh, any spoiler alerts on happy endings or? Nope, not, I'm not giving any spoiler alerts tonight. You have to watch. Oh, <laughs> I love it. You're keeping tight lipped on it. Yes. Well, it was a pleasure to pleasure meet you. Me too. Thank you. And for everything. Good luck, and Thank I you. hope to see it. Yeah. Thank you.